Hey Aquarius, this is Moon Pie doing your February bonus love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So just remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. If you want to check out the um, earlier February Aquarius love reading, um, it's already in my playlist. So just go over to my channel and you can get this is a double reading. So this is your bonus. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the person you may be connected with and their energy, what's going on with them. Um, I know some of you are single, so if you don't have anyone, this can usually go both ways. You know, sometimes the single stuff shows up. Sometimes it's just about what's going on with you and your person. But I like to go with the flow and see what comes out with your messages. And um, personal readings description box below has a link to the Instago app. You can schedule a phone call reading with me there. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, sometimes um, even if you, whether you have someone or not, sometimes these readings resonate for people who are having struggle issues with someone or married like a narcissist or something or dealing with that someone ego, very egotistical I know the cross watchers can be say it's Aquarius it's egotistical so it's whatever be nice in the comments please they're getting annoying <laughs> all right let's say Aquarius all right oh sorry no reversals here in my reading so three of swords your person's heartbroken there's heartbreaking communication Possibly some kind of an argument happening in February. Why my cards all reversed? Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Um, so could be about money or a situation that involves gambling or somebody spending too much money or coming into a lot of money. Um, there's some kind of argument in regard to um, a shift and a change that's happening here. Okay. Lot, excuse me, a lot of sword art energy. Um, so you could be dealing with someone who's viewing you as being kind of like your way or the highway. There's heartbreak here, though. There's a shift. There's a change. And the reason I say that is because the um, person there on the left is holding three swords. And the right is the three of swords. The five represents a manageability. The three represents communication. So somebody here is breaking or will attempt or try to break your heart. And that I feel is what the shift and the change is. Or they're going to say something that's abusive or verbally cutting. Some of you are like, oh, I hear you. Well, gee, that's nothing new. Um, from the person I've been dealing with. There's a tendency for that with them. For others, um, this is the end of it. So some of you, I'm just feeling like some kind of an argument is happening. And your person is going to be, whether this is someone you're dealing with already or someone new, um, you're not having it. Okay. Um, and you might actually be fighting back. Now, there's a Queen of Pentacles here. So somebody could, you could be um, involved with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or um, this person, I feel like, is accusing you of something in February. They see something online or they, they see a text or they, they see something. Or there could be an issue with money. And... Um, the argument, they say some things that are not very nice. They're a bit cruel. And um, they might be jumping the gun. Okay, the Hierophant. Some of you are married to this person or this has something to do with um, a spiritual, moral issue. Okay. Eight of Swords on the Hierophant. So a feeling of insecurity. This person who you're connecting with, I feel, is accusing you of not living up to good moral values. They're making judgment. I'm sure the judgment card's going to show up. They're casting stones on you, and they're being quite critical and analytical about you. And 
it's harsh and somebody now this doesn't have to be a lover this could be a spiritual leader or a family member there's Taurus energy here double Aquarius Leo and Scorpio um, this person is using possibly religion or spirituality or something along those lines to make you feel bad to keep you trapped and I'm not saying religion is a trapping mechanism what I'm saying is this person is abusing it um, by saying um, just using it to condemn and control this is a strange message okay this person is very possessive over you with the four of pentacles very and they will not be um, hurt by anything you do back to them because they've got their deflective shield so I'm rubber your glue what you say to me bounces off of me and goes right back to you and that's kind of their attitude it's almost as if they don't care as long as they are right in the argument or as long as they get their point across all right so your reading is like turn it off um high priestess this person is keeps secrets <laughs> they're not saying much and sorry i just want to fix this this has a lot to do with um this communication see they're not being so whatever it is that they're saying to you the things that are arguing they're arguing about you they don't have the full story or they're not sharing the full truth so in other words whatever it is that they're accusing you of doing they're basing it off of a moral belief system that not even they believe in and they're not coming from a place where they're communicating with you through wisdom they're making accusation and judgment they're not following their true soul and their true spirit they might even think that you are they might be using this against you because they think that you are uh, doing something to them like using magic or something on them and just just kind of strange maybe you tell them you will and this creates argument or something Aries energy the Emperor the Emperor and the high priestess they're not usually a match um, the Emperor and the high priestess are uh, ones this feels to me like Claudette and um, Caesar that relationship right that's Claudette she's very spiritual and patient quiet and then you know Caesar was just like basically an asshole so that's how your relationship feels to me <laughs> that you are just very spiritual and internal and um, you catch things and you see things you understand things and your person is just very dominant and controlling um, not necessarily manipulative but just the leader and won't be told otherwise what a great reading my goodness but truth is truth right um, oh gosh I just kind of feel like um, you know I'm going to point out to you so far there's no cups energy so there's a lack so this is a love reading but when we don't have cups we have a lot of swords and a couple of pentacles here this Taurus did I say that also yeah so um, the high priestess would represent like sometimes Virgo Pisces cancer sometimes um, so ten of Pentacles something to do with a family situation or money or marriage um, I'm telling you there's something here that there might be family members saying something to them or um, family wealth or inheritance or money or some business kind of thing or something um,
they might be trying to, I feel like they're trying to protect their money because this sits on the wheel of fortune. They come into some kind of money or something um, and they're trying to protect that and they're accusing you of something. Maybe they, they might be accusing you of um, just marrying them for the money you're being with them, waiting for that payout because the Queen of Pentacles is sitting here looking at the money looking at the coin. Yep, look. That's what they think. That's what's going on. They think you only want them for their money. Or finances or something. Something material things is what I want to say. They think that, and that's where this argument ensues, and you might be just giving it back to them and telling them no, but they're really being harsh on you. Two marriage cards, side by side, right? Their argument is you're not giving love. You're not being emotional enough. And this is the only cup card. So this has to do with this family situation, this marriage, this home family thing, and something connected to money. And yeah, that as the story reveals itself, it feels much more to me, even here where they're trying to hold on to their money or keep it secret. Um, this person, this could have to, something to do with real estate as well. Um, trying not to sell. Um, you're either married or in some type of relationship or something is going on and this person is accusing you of being together only because of money and finances it's like dude you could have just did a, a prenup and avoided all this junk but maybe they didn't okay now i feel like they're kind of a sap <laughs> in some way it's like they want they well i mean I don't feel like you didn't marry this person or you're not with this person solely for the money, but they feel that you aren't giving love and maybe you're not because they accuse you of stuff all the time. And now it's just, uh, you know, down to the financial aspect of the relationship. And that's re really what else can we do? You know, I mean, there's bills to pay, there's things to take care of, there's children to feed, you know, and, um, I feel like this person wants you to go either back to church or go see a priest or go seek a counselor or get some help or, or whatever. And they're just being not very nice. Some of you might maybe are separating from someone and this is the fallout of what you're, you know, you're getting. Um, the only communication I'm seeing is like an argument and some abuse happening here. In, during this time period so you know for those of you who are in fallout with someone <laughs> I'm not seeing love on the horizon um, and I'm not seeing a making up with this person really I feel like it's more or less you got to get through whatever it is that you're dealing with right now before you can even have your freedom and your happiness okay because this person is breaking your heart or they're making you feel sad they're making you regret they're making you grieve um, because of their, you know, their issues. Them either, they, I feel like they come into some type of financial windfall of some sort and they don't want to give it to you and they don't want to share it with you um, when maybe they should be, especially if you're married, it's half yours, but they're trying to put up a hard time about this and accusing you of just not loving them when like, it's not even like that. I kind of feel like you're going to get away from this February. Like you're not going to listen you're just going to like face the fears and face what's going on here and just, you know, drop your sword and just go to the freaking light because it's stressful for you. So some of you might actually just say, you know, I'm just going on vacation. Right? Leave me alone. Because this is all coming out of nowhere. This tower energy is kind of shocking. The way they're... I don't know. Unless if you're dealing with a man, I mean, maybe he's got like male PMS or something. I don't know what they call that, but... 
it's just coming out of the blue the things that they say you know and there but i really feel like it's a tactic i feel i remember i was i said narcissist in the beginning so it's like some kind of a tactic that they're trying to destroy you they're trying to make you feel bad about the marriage they're trying to make you feel bad within this marriage or within this connection Maybe they're trying to get you to leave, uh, to divorce them, so that you don't get money or something that they're hiding, and they're keeping secret, and they're not talking about, or tell, or saying, or they're, you know, even if they're not trying to get you to leave, they're just trying to hide it. Yep. See? Grief and betrayal. Ten of Swords. Five cups. <sighs> wow. That was sharp reading here. Let's take a look at the outcome for you in this situation. Okay. Your advice here really is to lean on people who support you in your life. Okay. Sisters, other females, um, and just kind of like try to be happy, right? Try to be in a joyous position because this whole thing that this person is doing, like recognize that it's a tactic and it's in, it's being instilled in order to um, give you a hard time because they don't want, um, maybe you question something about what they were doing or something that they're doing and um, they're trying to just push it off onto you. But you got to recognize that it's a tactic that they're using so that they don't have to reveal what's going on with them okay death scorpio energy um you really have to make a transition here with this this situation there could be um somebody passing away um that like a very very old person that's leaving money or something to maybe them um, that you're connected with or something like or there's like a will from or money inheritance or something from someone who passed away a long time ago that nobody really knew about and um, I think that you need to know that yeah because there's money here for you from you're named e either you're named in the will or there's there's a piece of the pie for you and they're trying this is such a weird reading it's not even like love. It's more like general craziness. Um, this person is trying to not let you have it. And this might be connected to family. Or you might find out about this. Or you do know about this. There's a queen of wands here. She's connected to this as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She might actually um, be the one to tell you about this. <clears throat> or is there some kind of connection to it? All right, investigate. You got to find out the truth. You got to watch and see. Don't be in a paranoid state at all, but um, see the underlying picture here, which I, I know that this might not resonate for everybody. It's a very, very specific message here. So thank God there's um, another Aquarius February reading that I've already uploaded that you can check out on my channel in my playlist but I feel like there is something going on here so you know however this resonates for you this could just be the bottom line to summarize this this reading is that there is somebody who is starting some type of argument or fight with you so that because there's some kind of money or something owed to you or that's coming to you that they don't want you to have or they don't want you to know about it um Maybe they're hoping that that will be a distraction or deterrent from you finding out about this and maybe you walking away or leaving or something. So uh, maybe hopefully, I think they're presenting as like, oh, you just don't love me. That's why we're not going to be in this marriage. But no, that's not what it is. Or, or you just don't care. And that's why we're not going to be together. But actually, it has something to do with that wheel of fortune because I was connected to the three of swords. And that represents some type of argument in regard to money or a little small treasure or some sort. So I don't know. This could be as simple as like child support or something. 
you know, or uh, some kind of debt or something. I don't know. I guess you have your work cut out for you in February, Aquarius. But, you know, it could be related to family members as well. It doesn't have to be just a lover or a spouse. It could be related to um, family members holding back, um, like, an inheritance or something. So, hooray for love. <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave your reading there. Um, this will be the last one for February. So, definitely go check out um, the... February playlist that's already uploaded on my channel with your previous love reading. Um, hopefully it's better. And if you want a personal reading, description box below has the link so you can set up um, an appointment to, we can talk on the phone and do a reading for you. All right, take care.